everything taken out of it. Uh, got it wiped down good. And Matt's in here spraying it now, painting the uh, inside. We're only painting what's going to be exposed or an open area whenever the hatch is open. Uh, so anything above the subfloor will be painted. Looks good. Wide open footprint for us to play with and see what we can make happen. A little break in the video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Turn on noties. Yes. Keep up to date with everything that we have coming up. Leave a like. Leave a comment if you have thoughts on what we're doing, what we should do differently. Uh, leave a comment. We love feedback, even if it's not you know questions, comments, concerns. Um, if you dislike comments. the video, leave us a comment why. Because if, um, if you dislike it, that doesn't tell us what we did wrong. Maybe you don't like how our hair looks. I don't know. I mean, that could well, be my, my hair is pretty wild today. Next, we had Ryan. Uh, or Fire Ant, as he's known across the YouTube uh, channels. Um, uh, he came out a couple weeks ago and kind of did a little bit of a... Consultation? Yeah, he did a consultation uh, to kind of give us some ideas on what we should do, how we should do this build. Uh, we put a link to his channel in the description. Uh, go over there, check him out. There's a video that we are featured in. Uh, it's half of it's Project Wilson. Half of it is a consultation of this these boat, two boats. Between Tiffany and our old school boat outside, um, that, that's going to be a massive build, so we haven't started on that yet. I want to give a thank you to Ryan uh, for coming out. He was an awesome dude, nice guy. I uh, really appreciate you know, his feedback and uh, guidance uh, through this process that we're going to have here with these two builds. So um, make sure to go over to his channel, show him some love. Definitely. He has, if you guys are thinking about doing a build yourself, um, he has a lot of good info, um, a lot of good videos um, about how he does these. But we're going to go ahead and roll the tape and let you guys see uh, the steps that we took uh, for the build. We went ahead and got our subfloor framing. It's going to go down both sides here, all the way to the front. And then we're going to do our side supports and then our, you know, our vertical supports. So it does not look good as far as uh, it looks good as far as functionality, but from a perspective of being pretty, it is not. But it's going to be below, below the subfloor, so no one's going to see it except you guys in the video. So in order for it to fit properly and fit level on the boat, um, I'm having to actually trim down these right here, which are the, basically this is hitting on the bottom of the boat. So it's not letting it sit flat. So it's sitting like this. So when I knock these down, it'll actually sit flat-ish, flatter. So this goes on the side of the boat. This is going down. To the bottom of the boat. Yeah, and the deck's gonna go on top of this. Once it's flipped over, it's gonna be like this. So essentially, this bottom piece where my index finger is, it's too long, we have to cut it off so that it can rest sit, in the boat. So it can sit flat and not set at an angle, which we don't wanna angle for, so. Quick update, we got side frame in. This left side is completely done now. We got it ran all the way to the front up there and we got it all riveted in. As you can see, it's all riveted in here all the way to the front here to the last rib 
Uh, we're gonna figure out something for the front there, but for now, got that done. We're cutting the other side to match, getting it cut and put in. Once we get that done, we'll start doing our cross framing. And we are hungry, so we are gonna go get some lunch. Get some food. And then we'll come back and- Cause we fat. We fat. And then we'll come back and finish up. A little quick update. This is what we have found works for us. Uh, I'm sure other people have already done this before. Uh, there's a lot of good boat builders out there. Uh, we're not there yet on our way. There's a fly right there. Anyways. Better than a wasp. So go ahead and zoom in right here, Matt. What I have, I have, all right, Matt, what I have here is a little scrap piece of aluminum that came off some of these cuts right here on these pieces, as you see. We have no way of connecting this flush without adding something extra. So we take it right here and we add a piece. And what we do with that is we rivet this piece to our original already in place framing. And then we'll come back and tie into it with our new piece of framing that we're installing at the moment. We got this done because we wanted to know where we were going to start with this. So we're going to start. This is our starting point. This is the back of the actual back deck area. This will be uh, this will be Matt's domain back here as the uh, steerer and uh, back of the boat type of balance kind of person. Uh, I'll be up there in the front, but. Uh, Show you real quick, just come over here to the side mat, come this way. What we got going on so far, these ribs aren't even, so it's going to look a little bit off. We had to notch our angle right here so it would fit over the rib and over our, you know, our front to back beams there, so pieces there. So uh, we got that pretty much where we wanted it, dry fitted it. We came in, we cut some small pieces of angle. We had to notch those to fit on top of the ribbing. And then we went ahead and cut a piece of angle, that scrap angle, as kind of an L bracket. Riveted that, riveted that down first to the boat so we knew how we, so in other words, that made it more sturdy for the rest of the pieces tying in. So we got that down, got our pieces in place, riveted here, and then from the back, uh, Matt come around. Uh, we're gonna have to do our, you know, our vertical or our front to back framing right there, so we have somewhere to put our pink foam up against. So that is where we are at the moment. Uh, we're gonna come back here in a minute once we get our, you know, front to back supports done in the middle, and uh, Matt will come back with an update for that. So for now, it's 9:30 Sunday. The dark day outside. It's, yeah, it's dark. Two of our, our two uh, back to front, I don't even know really what you want to call it. Um, front to back, subfloor framing. Yeah. Uh, so in order to do this, because of how we did the back and everything, we did the sides first, um, these have to be up under our cross braces. So it stop, should stop essentially halfway um, under this cross brace, um, cross piece. So the reason why we did that is so that when we tie in, basically we bring this back under here and butt it up with this piece and we can rivet it here and that way it's still supported, it's supported here in the middle. If we, if we do change our mind, it's as simple as drill out a rivet. Um, which he's done a couple times already. Uh, but we went ahead and put the, leg, uh, the feet down, took the legs, our supports. Uh, we haven't done this yet, as you can see, but the next step is to finish out doing the legs here, or the supports here. Uh, and then we're also, it doesn't look like it right now, but we're also gonna add, uh, for our cross pieces, we're gonna add a third leg here, just to give us a little more, 
support in this bigger space? Probably do a leg in the middle every couple of supports just for some extra and then we'll add one in the back center just for extra support. Yeah, but as of right now, that's where we got. Um, it's getting later in the day. We're hungry. We're kind of fat. So. Not kind of. <laughs> so we're going to go eat and we'll see y'all tomorrow. piece of plywood yes we know the plywood's a lot stronger or you know somewhat stronger than what the flooring is going to be in here but you got to remember there's no pour foam in the sides yet this is just framing and rivets that's holding me up at the moment so we basically did this as a test run just to check how rigid and how sturdy all of our joints and everything is with how we have it set up so I mean I'm 235 240 pounds and I am very happy with how sturdy this is without any extra support. So, test successful. Well, that wraps up our Memorial Day weekend portion of our time to build. Yeah. We ended up getting both sides, the runners for the framing, completely done. We got the middle runners for the back half of the boat done. We got our cross supports done, cut in. All the under supports done. And all the legs. No, not Everything. quite as much as we were expecting to get done, but seeing as this build is a little different than your normal like cookie cutter, regular like flat bottom John boat build, um, or even the other V-hole builds that we have seen. There's no, um, we can't tie into the seat to the floor. Yeah, most of the other ones they uh, tie into the to the seats. Uh, we can't do that. So, yeah. So let's do a little close up, kind of show you guys what we have done so far. So right here is where we stopped, about halfway. And you see here in the front, we ended up stopping our supports on the sides. We're gonna do some, some kind of fabrication or redneck engineering. But we don't want to, we could have like gone into the sides, but we wanna keep the paint job. And I have a feeling we're gonna have a hard time trying to find something to match it, uh, like color match was. And so there's no, uh, and there, so we could have done that, but we did this instead. Um, cause I don't feel like, uh, trying to find a way to match this paint. Um, but we stopped here cause there's no ribs here. Um, so we're kind of, there's rivet holes already right here for smaller rivets for the original, um, little platform piece that's sitting over there on the floor now. Oh, we were down, it was kind of rusted. So I think we may just lay a piece across here and use it as like a little bit of a storage compartment. Cause there's, there's not gonna be any weight up here cause we're gonna put a piece basically here um, that's gonna basically have our trolling motor um, as well as our sonar that's on the trolling motor here. All right, so this is how we ended up doing our legs. I want to show you real quick. Um, so right here, finger close, right in here we have our little bottom L piece. You want to stand over and kind of point. So right here, Matt is pointing at where we did our scrap angle pieces for our feet. And then if you want to show them the leg support as well. Um, the leg is what's vertically holding up the weight of the platform uh, framing we have here we ended up doing two rivets in each place where we attached it uh, we had to come back and do two countersinks on top there 
and basically uh, we have two attaching we have two attaching on the front to back piece two attaching on the cross piece on top as countersinks we have two going into the rib on the bottom on the ankle piece that is our little foot connector and then two holding that on the side there and then we got two right here as well there's only one there right now but and then we have a piece right there holding it together there's so here. yeah we're going to come back and add some more rivets this one right here has two as you can see but for now this is where we're at exciting stuff you know a lot of the meat of the build we haven't quite gotten to yet but this is the most important part of the build so we want to do it right at our times but that wraps it up for the weekend guys yeah.